Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, let's look at the most incredible product to come out of Apple since the iPod sock, the battery charger. So during recent Apple announcements of new iMacs, Mac Pros, Magic Trackpad, and the like, Apple snuck in this gem, the battery charger. Now, I kid, of course, it's just a small peripheral that Apple's come out with, but I think it's interesting enough for us to take a look. Now, it's a pretty compact nickel metal hydride battery charger. It charges two AA batteries at a time, and it compares pretty well in size to this, which I was using previously, which is an Energizer brand battery charger. And you can see it's much larger. This does charge four at a time, and of course, it costs less. In addition, it uses the little connectors that you can find on MacBook Pro uh, adapters and also on the iPads adapter. And this little thing slides out and you can get the Apple World Travel Adapter Kit, which has more of these and you can plug in the same device to various outlets as you travel. So for instance, you can get one of them and then plug in your MacBook, plug in your iPad charger and plug this thing in using the connectors. Now, Apple's motivation for this product may be to get better environmental grades. It says a bunch of different things that should please those wanting to conserve energy. One thing it does is it recognizes when the batteries are fully charged and then it reduces its power usage to about 10%. So some other chargers apparently, they continue to pull full power from the wall even when the batteries are fully charged. The batteries that come with it, there's six of them, and they're kind of Apple branded. They look very generic, but they actually do say they're made by Apple. Uh, these uh, will last for up to 10 years, according to the website. And in addition to that, they'll have a very little um, storage drain. So if you put them away in a drawer, supposedly they'll keep 80% of their power over the period of a year. Now the charger itself works with any nickel metal hydride batteries, so you can buy some from uh, another site, from buy a major brand, to get more than the six that come in the package. So the biggest drawback to the Apple battery charger is of course the price. It comes in at $29, which isn't completely unreasonable. Now you can get some of these types of chargers for about half that price. So if you're looking for a bargain, this isn't a bargain. But it does seem to have some advantages and you may want to go and get it just for the Apple style and maybe the compact size. So it's interesting to look at how Apple has been dealing with batteries recently. They got a lot of criticism for coming out with a phone that had a battery locked inside of it. There's no way to swap it. Then they went and continued that policy with the MacBooks, locking the battery inside. There's no way to swap it or to replace it on your own. But on the other hand, they started coming out with peripherals like the keyboard, Magic Trackpad, and the Magic Mouse that all use AA batteries and thus the battery charger. So on the one hand, Apple seems to want to have their own proprietary batteries locked away inside the device with no way to swap or replace. On the other hand, Apple seems to want to have peripherals that use standard batteries and even provide you with a recharger. So only time will tell if this is worth it. We're going to have to see how long do these batteries really last if they continue to hold their charge after several years. And if they do, then the $29 price tag may in fact be worth it. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.